Good evening and welcome to the FACT TV broadcast of tonight's swim meet live from the Verona Aquatic Center in Verona, Wisconsin. Tonight, the Verona area Mount Horeb Wildcat teams takes on the five-time defending Division II state champion Edgewood Crusaders in their first in-person duel at the Aquatic Center. Our first event up this evening is, in fact, the 200-yard medley relay, JV. So this JV heat features three teams from Verona Mount Horeb along with one team from Edgewood. As you can see, the first leg of the medley relay is the backstroke. And off to an early lead in lane five, that is Verona Mount Horeb's Britta Lake. Followed closely in lane four by Ashlyn Brock of Edgewood. In lane three on the left side of your screen, that is Perry McMahon from Verona Mount Horeb and in lane seven, Bronwyn Wonder. And first into the pool for the butterfly portion, or I take that the breaststroke portion is in lane five, Mandy Beggs. Followed up in lane three, that's Piper McMahon for Verona Mount Horeb. And in lane four for Edgewood, that is Sophie Cabada. So in the lead in lane five in the middle of your screen. 
That is Mandy Beggs. She will hand things over to In Ingrid Malin. She will swim the butterfly portion. And there is your leader in lane five for Verona Mount Horeb. Coming up second there in lane three, that is Bella Boyle. And in lane four for Edgewood, that is Sarah Johnstone. And finishing up in lane five, Verona Mount Horeb. The final leg there, the freestyle leg, that is Kate Lewicki. And as she heads to the far end and makes the turn for home, you can see there in lane three, that is Megan Diaz Cabe, or I take that back, that is Amber Burdett in lane three. And in lane four, that is Ellie Hazlow for Edgewood. Finishing up for Verona Mount Horeb in lane five. That was Kate Lewicki in lane three. That is Amber Burdett. Finishing up for Edgewood in lane four, that's Ellie Hazlow. And in lane seven, that is Megan Diaz Caballero. And as the teams touch up, you can see in the upper left-hand corner of your screen there all the times uh, along with the lane assignment. So our next heat up, as you can see, the girls on the deck there ready to jump in. This is the varsity heat of the 200-yard medley relay. As you can see in this particular heat, you have Verona Mount Horeb in lanes three and five and Edgewood in lanes four and six. So as the timers and officials are prepping for this heat, uh, I do want to mention that uh, this year, the WIAA sectional meet will be hosted here at the Aquatic Center on Tuesday, March 30th. That will begin at 5.30. Edgewood, normally a Division II team, will actually compete uh, as there will only be one division due to the small number of teams in the field. There's only 43 schools uh, will be competing statewide. And off to an early lead in the backstroke. That is in lane four. Anna Tiditz for Edgewood. Followed in lane five, that's Reagan Brazo. And in the middle of your screen in lane four, that is the team from Edgewood holding a lead of about a length as they transition to the breaststroke. So that is Abby Reed from Edgewood off with the lead in the breaststroke. As she makes a turn to head back, you can see there in lane five for Verona Mount Horeb, that is Gianna Ganewick, followed by in lane six, Olivia Budzinski. And touching up for Edgewood, next into the pool is Peyton Drexler to swim the butterfly portion. She is followed by the Verona team in lane five, that is Bailey Felsheim, followed by the Edgewood team in lane six, that is Sadie Ludgate. And in lane three, the Verona team, that is Emmy Bennon. And as they touch up on the butterfly portion, heading for the freestyle, the anchor leg, for Edgewood, that is Sophie Reed. In the pool four, Verona Mount Horeb, that's Kenzie Zeal in lane five. And in lane six, Claire Rothering. Also in lane three for Verona Mount Horeb, that's Lucia Hafner. 
as they head for home. It is Edgewood in lane four. Touching up, Verona Mount Horeb in lane five, Edgewood in lane six, and Verona Mount Horeb in lane three. As you can see in lane four, that is in fact a new pool record. And as you can imagine, uh, the pool records are gonna come fast and furious tonight as we've had very few meets for the girls in the Aquatic Center to this point. Our next event in the pool is the JV 200-yard freestyle. as they get in the pool for the JV 200 yard freestyle. Off to a pretty even start at this juncture. They're gonna be swimming a total of eight lengths of the pool. So you can see the pace is a little bit different than certainly that relay was where everybody only swam 50. So off to a slight lead at the upper part of your screen. That is Tatum Torgerson from Edgewood in lane six followed by Izzy Moore from Verona Mount Horeb in lane five. In lane four, that is Audrey Macio Pinto, followed by Zinnia Wedage in lane three. And at the top, top of your screen, that is Amelia Heil from Verona Mount Horeb. And as they head for the halfway point of this 200 yard freestyle, you can see in lane six, that is Tatum Torgerson, followed in lane five by Izzy Moore. Audrey Macio Pinto in lane four. Zinnia Wedage in lane three. And Amelia Heil in lane seven. And as they make the turn to complete six of these eight lengths, still in lane six, Tatum Torgerson. Torgerson maintains about a length and a half lead, followed by Audrey Macio Pinto in lane four, Izzy Moore in lane five. So on your screen there, the left-hand side, uh, that is lane three, that is Zinnia Wedig. Uh, lane four, lane five and six, and finally on the far right is lane seven, for those of you watching at home. So our current leader is in lane six. That is Tatum Torgerson, followed very closely now by Audrey Macio Pinto in lane four, Izzy Moore in lane five, and with a big kick at the end, it is in fact, oh, lane four. Audrey Macio Pinto followed up in lane six. That is Tatum Torgerson. Lane five, Izzy Moore takes third. In lane three, that is Zinnia Wedage. And in lane seven, that is Amelia Heil. Next up in the pool is the Varsity 200 yard freestyle. As they jump in the pool, the 
The early lead is hard to see at this point. We'll see how they turn here as they head for the first 50 yards to complete. And it looks like in lane six, Bryn Stacy, and in lane four, Izzy ends off to an early lead. Followed up in lane seven, Maya Blas, and lane five, Tola Claybaugh. As they make the turn, it is Izzy ends in lane four, followed by Bryn Stacy in six, Tola Claybaugh in lane five, Maya Blas in lane seven. Down at the bottom of your screen, that is Alex McClure in lane two and Emma Newman from Verona Mount Horeb in lane three. And still maintaining about a one length lead, that is in lane four, Izzy Ends, followed by in lane six, Bryn Stacy on your right, Tola Claybaugh in lane five, and Maya Blas in lane seven. And as they head for home, it's pretty much a dead heat there. Lanes four and six, that's Izzy Enns and Bryn Stacy, respectively. At the bottom of your screen, Izzy Enns touches up first. Whoop, we got two more lengths to go, sorry about that. So after 150, that is Izzy Enns with the lead, followed by Bryn Stacy. I was gonna say that'd be quite a record if they finished that quickly. In between those two Edgewood swimmers, that is Tola Claybaugh from Verona Mount Horeb, and at the top of your screen, Maya Blas in lane seven. So now as they head for the final lengths, and indeed setting a new pool record in lane four, that is Izzy Enns with a time of 155.40. Lane six in second, that is Bryn Stacy. In third, lane five, that is Tola Claybaugh. Taking fourth, Maya Blas in lane seven. In fifth, in lane two, Alex McClure. And in sixth, from Verona Mount Horeb, Emma Newman. Coach Bill Warger just announced this is the JV 200 yard individual medley. So that is at the bottom of your screen as you see it. That is in lane one, Bella Boyle from Verona Mount Horeb. Lane three, Kate Lewicki. Lane five, Mandy Beggs, and in lane seven, Lauren Lewicki. And from Edgewood in lane four, that is Sarah Johnstone. And off to an early lead, that is Kate Lewicki in lane three from Verona Mount Horeb, followed up by Mandy Beggs in lane five. Bella Boyle at the bottom of her screen is currently in third after the butterfly portion. So now as they transfer to the backstroke, that is with a slight advantage in lane three, Kate Lewicki, followed up by Mandy Beggs in lane five, Bella Boyle at the bottom of your screen in lane one, at the top of your screen, Lauren Lewicki in lane seven, and from Edgewood in lane four, that is Sarah Johnstone. And as you can tell with the individual medley, there's always swimmers that have kind of a favorite stroke and it looks as though uh, in lane five, that's Mandy Beggs opening up a little bit of a lead in the backstroke portion. We'll see how she does when they transfer over to the breaststroke. And lane five at the top of your screen, that is Mandy Beggs with a slight advantage over Kate Lewicki in lane three at the bottom of your screen. She looks to be maybe expanding on that lead a little bit in this breaststroke portion of the individual medley. In the middle of your screen, that is Sarah Johnstone from Edgewood. At the top of your screen in lane seven, that's Lauren Lewicki. And at the bottom of your screen for Verona Mount Horeb, that is in lane one, Bella Boyle. 
And as you can see, opening up a considerable lead after the breaststroke portion in lane five, that is Mandy Beggs as she goes to the freestyle. In lane three, that's Kate Lewicki holding down second place in this heat. At the right side of your screen, as you see the pool in lane seven, that's Lauren Lewicki. In the middle of your screen in lane four from Edgewood, that is Sarah Johnstone. And on the left side of your screen, that is Bella Boyle transitioning to the freestyle. And heading back toward the finish to wrap up this 200 yard individual medley. That is Mandy Beggs in lane five, touching up with a time of 233.05. Coming in second, it's a pretty close race there. Lane seven, I believe, is gonna touch up first. That is Lauren Lewicki, her time, 244.42. In lane three, that is in third place, Kate Lewicki, a time of 245.69. In lane four, Sarah Johnstone, a time of 249.03. And in lane one, Bella Boyle, her time, three minutes, 2.37 seconds. So you can definitely tell as we uh, move to the varsity heat of this 200 meter individual medley, uh, certainly there are swimmers that have stronger uh, portions of their race, depending on the stroke that they're swimming. Swimming four in Edgewood in lane two, Sam Vega. Lane four, Keaton Drexler. Lane six, Sadie Lundquist. Swimming for the Warrior Man Club in lane three, Ingrid Malin. Lane five, Gemma Ganeva. And in lane seven, Raven Bazaar. as they head into the pool. For the butterfly segment, it looks like in lane four, Peyton Drexler off to a slight lead. Followed by in lane six, Sadie Ludgate. In lane five, that's Gianna Ganewe. At the bottom of your screen in lane two, that's Sam Vega. And in lane seven, Reagan Brazo. And in lane three, Ingrid Malin for Verona Monboro. As they transfer over to the backstroke, you can see in lane four, that is Peyton Drexler from Edgewood, followed by in lane two at the bottom of your screen, or the left, uh, Sam Vega, followed by Sadie Ludgate in lane six. In lane five, that is Gianna Ganewe. They head back and transfer over to the breaststroke. That is in the middle of your screen. Peyton Drexler from Edgewood in lane four. In lane six, that is Sadie Ludgate. In lane two, Sam Vega. And in lane five, from Verona Mount Horeb, Gianna Ganewe. And as they touch up at the far end, extending her lead in lane four, Peyton Drexler. Followed up in lane two at the bottom or left of your screen, Sam Vega. Coming up to take third there briefly is Gianna Ganewick in lane five, followed by Sadie Ludgate in lane six. And as they transfer over to the freestyle with a very sizable lead, that is Peyton Drexler in lane four. At the bottom of your screen, Sam Vega in lane two. A close battle for third between Gianna Ganewick in lane five and Sadie Ludgate in lane six. And as they head for home, that is Peyton Drexler touching up with a new pool record for the 200 yard IM of 208.91. In lane two in second place, that is Sam Vega, time of 215.84. In lane six in third place, that is Sadie Ludgate, a time of 216.67. In fourth place, Gianna Ganewick, 218.84. Fifth place goes to Ingrid Malin, a time of 231.94. And in sixth in lane seven, a time of 234.48 is Reagan Brazo. As you'll notice, uh, 
many, many pool records to fall tonight, uh, given, one, the first time we've actually had some competition in the pool. So we've got a full eight lanes. This is a first for us here at a Verona Aquatic Center facility. Obviously at the old natatorium, we only had six lanes. And so we've got all eight lanes here featured for the JV 50 yard freestyle. This is going to be a quick one, folks. It's simply down and back. How fast can you go? And it looks like it's anybody's race here at this point as they make the turn. Maybe a slight advantage to Lucia Hafner in lane five. She's flanked by, in lane six, Bella Urzagaste and Audrey Macho Pinto in lane six. And as they touch up, it is in lane five, a nail biter there. Lucia Hafner taking the win with a time of 27.71. She is followed up in second by Audrey Macho Pinto in lane six, and in third in lane four, very close finish, Bella Urzagaste. Here we go, the varsity 50-yard freestyle. It's gonna be the fastest race of the night. So don't, don't go get something to drink or don't go use the restroom yet. We've got a break coming up. So keep an eye on those middle lanes. This is going to be fast and furious. Got the sprinters out here. And into the pool with an early lead. That is Anna T. Dykes in lane four for Edgewood. She's followed up by Kenzie Zeal in lane five. In lane six at the top of your screen there is Sophie Reed from Edgewood. And as they head for home, it is Anna Tiedites with a slight lead. She's gonna take it in a time of 24.54. And that is, as you can see by the flashing time, a new pool record. Followed up second is Kenzie Zeal in lane five. Third place goes to Sophie Reed in lane six. There's a quick break in the action at this time, so we'll be right back. JV 100 yard butterfly. And as they get in the pool in lane three, that is Verona Mount Horeb's Kate Lewicki off to an early lead. Followed in lane four, Olivia Budzitsky. And in lane five, that is Zinnia Wedding. And as they head for the turn here after 50 yards, that is kind of stroke for stroke there. Lanes four and three and four, Kate Lewicki and Olivia Budzinski. And taking a slight advantage there in lane four is Edgewood's Olivia Budzinski, followed up by Kate Lewicki in lane three. And at the top of your screen, that is Zinnia Wedge in lane five. And as they head for home, that is Olivia Budzinski in lane four, opening up a larger lead. She is followed up by Zinnia Wedge in lane five and Kate Lewicki in lane three. And touching up to finish up that 100-yard butterfly, that is Edgewood's Olivia Budzinski. 
Followed up in second in lane five, Zinnia Wedge. In lane three, Kate Lewicki takes third. Lane seven is fourth, that is Amelia Heil. And in lane six, Sarah Johnstone from Edgewood. Next up will be the varsity heat of the 100 yard butterfly. And as you can see here as the camera pans a little wider in the complex uh, for those of you who visited the Verona Natatorium uh, a much larger facility very open and spacious very well lit. As we begin the varsity 100 yard butterfly. In the middle of pool, that is in lane five, Bailey Felshine. Lane four is the ends off to an early lead. And as they touch up and head back for to complete 50 yards, that is in lane five, Bailey Felshine with a slight advantage. She is flanked in lane three by or in lane four by Izzy Ends and in lane six by Sadie Ludgate. And as they head out again to finish 75 yards of the 100 yard freeze or the 100 yard butterfly, that is in lane four, Izzy Ends with a slight advantage. She is followed up closely in second by Bailey Felsheim in lane five and Edgewood Sadie Ludgate in lane six. And touching up at the finish, that is in lane four, setting a new pool record, Izzy Ends from Edgewood. In second, that is Bailey Felsheim. And lane six in third, that is Sadie Lundy. New pool record was set in lane four by Izzy Ends with a new pool record of one double go, 79. So her time of one minute point seven nine seconds is in fact a Next new event, pool record. 11, As we prepare to start here, seven competitors in this heat of the JV 100 yard freestyle. And off to an early lead. That is in lane three, Lucia Hafner. Followed up very closely in lane four, Bella Urzagaste. And in lane five, Claire Ledico. Also in lane seven, at the top of your screen, that is Izzy Moore. As they touch up at 50 yards with a slight advantage. Oh, pulling ahead is Verona's Lucia Hafner in lane three, followed closely by Bella Urzagaste in lane four, and in lane five, Claire Ledico. And as they make the turn, those turns are very vital in such a short race. That is Edgewood's. Bella Urzagaste in lane four, followed very closely on each side by Lucia Hafner in three and Claire Ledico in five. And at the finish it is in lane four, Bella Urzagaste with the win. Second place goes to Lucia Hafner and Claire Ledico in third in lane five. And as we wrap up the JV 100 yard freestyle, we will next transition to the varsity heat. This will feature six swimmers in this heat as each team is permitted to have three varsity entrants.
As you can see at the top of your screen, you see some swimmers there kind of doing some back and forth, different strokes. Uh, basically, that's a warm up and cool down area that is obviously new to us this year. Uh, you know, the old natatorium only had six lanes and those were pretty much used all the time. Uh, obviously, the diving well portion of the aquatic center is in that area, as you can see people kind of getting in and, out, in and out there. Uh, obviously, a huge benefit to our uh, swimmers uh, as they warm up for a race or cool down from a previous race. We did have our first diving competition last Friday. As you can see the two uh, one meter boards there. Uh, so uh, the first of many to come here at the Aquatic Center. as they get in the water. It is off to an early advantage. That is Abby Reed in lane four for Edgewood. She is flanked in lane three by Tola Claybow and in lane five, Kenzie Zeal. As you work toward the top of your screen in lane six, that is Sophie Reed. In lane seven at the very top of your screen is Allison Beggs. And at the bottom of your screen, that is Claire Rothering from Edgewood. As they make the turn, it is in lane four, Abby Reed with the lead. Followed by in lane five, Kenzie Zeal. Lane three, that's Tola Claybaugh. And at the top of your screen in lane six, Sophie Reed. And as they head for the finish, it is Abby Reed in lane four, touching up for a new pool record of 52.94. Taking second in lane six, that is Sophie Reed. Slightly edging out Kenzie Zeal in lane five. In fourth, that is Tola Claybow. Taking fifth in lane two, that's Claire Rothering and Allison Beggs in lane seven. And as you may have overheard there, there, were, there was an announcement for the counters to head to the shallow end of the pool. Uh, that is the far end. Uh, they will be counting the lengths for the upcoming 500 yard freestyle. We've got two heats of that this evening. We have a JV heat with a total of five swimmers featured, along with a varsity heat also with five swimmers. So we'll have a chance to talk a little bit about the uh, Verona Mount Horeb season and of course the brand new aquatic center facility. So as you can see in the picture there, the counters are getting some instructions from one of the officials. As I mentioned before, this is a 20 length race. Uh, obviously each uh, length being 25 yards, uh, Multiply that up times 20 and you end up with 500 yards for the entire distance of this race. Obviously, uh, I guess I would call it kind of the equivalent of the mile if you're a track person at all. Uh, about the same amount of time for a lot of these swimmers. Uh, obviously water being a much more dense medium, so uh, it takes a little longer to get through. So as this race unfolds, uh, you're gonna see a lot of uh, different pacing uh, practices here. And so you may see some leads uh, exchanged. Uh, we'll just have to kind of wait and see. The one nice thing with the scoreboard in the upper left-hand corner of your screen is you will get to see uh, their split times for every two lengths of the pool. So every time they touch up, you know, they'll make this turn here and they'll head back to complete their second length. So even, or every even uh, length of the pool, you will see their split times appear on the scoreboard. So you'll kind of get a chance to see how well each swimmer is able to pace out their race. And so as you can see there in lane four off to the lead in a time of 31.77, uh, that is uh, Tatum Torgerson from Edgewood. 
and you can see all the splits there that are listed. And so, you know, depending on who, uh, which swimmer you're supporting the most here in this particular race, uh, you get a chance to see those split times and then kind of see how their race is going. So once again, just a reminder, the left side of your screen are the lower numbered lanes. So we have in this particular race, lanes three through seven. So lane three is on the left, lane seven on your right. As you can see, lane four is off to the early advantage. We mentioned that is Tatum Torgerson from Edgewood. You can see her split there, not quite as fast as that introductory two lengths, uh, mostly of course, because you're fresh, right? Uh, in second place in lane six, that is Ashlyn Brock. In third at the top of your screen, that is Lauren Lewicki. And uh, close to one another is Bronwyn Wonder in lane five and Claire Samer in lane three. So as we mentioned, as we're getting into kind of the, uh, the meat of the race here, you know, it's always easy when you're fresh. It uh, gets a little tougher in the middle, and then obviously those last couple lengths when you're kind of kicking it home, uh, you know, you get a little more inspired. Uh, these are definitely those, those mentally tough lengths of your race, you know, out of the 20. Certainly the first six are kind of gimmies. Uh, you know, you get into seven through probably 16, uh, that middle portion of the race, you're going to have to earn it. And that's where the conditioning comes in. Uh, and where you'll see those uh, split times, you know, the, the, the girls who are able to really swim an effective time are the ones that can keep those middle splits down. Uh, the ones, if they start to balloon a little bit, uh, that, that's where, you know, in, in subsequent times that they might swim the 500, that's where the time really gets cut, uh, are those middle lengths of their race. So as we've mentioned a few times tonight, you know, this is a new facility here at the Verona Aquatic Center, uh, newly constructed along with the Verona Area High School. Uh, the high school is designed to hold a capacity of 2,500 students, and so obviously uh, the sport facilities needed to be built uh, to accommodate, uh, hopefully, the uh, great participation uh, that will be here over the many, many years uh, at this facility. You can see in the background there, that is the warm water pool. Uh, this competition pool is kept at a cooler temperature, but the warm water pool there in the background is more for swimming lessons, uh, for just kind of open swim. Uh, I know our uh, older adults, uh, there's a lot of classes that are offered uh, during the day. Um, different aerobics classes, uh, you know, just kind of general fitness classes. Uh, and so um, the, the facility is widely used by members of the community. Uh, just, a, just a great opportunity for the Verona community uh, to, uh, to get into the water indoors. So you can see there in the race, we are up to, once we uh, take a look at those length uh, signs at the uh, far end of your screen there, you can see our leader is and continues to be Tatum Torgerson. And you can see her card there holding up the 15. So that means she has five more lengths of the pool to complete after she touches up here. And so as she makes the turn, she's got uh, five lengths of the pool. So once she heads back, she'll have two more times down and back to complete this 500. And if you check in with those split times, uh, you'll see just generally speaking, many of the splits kind of in those uh, mid to upper 30 second ranges. Uh, if you recall at the beginning of the race, they were in the lower uh, 30s, um, you know, starting to drift a little bit. That's just the nature of the beast here in the 500. You know, you've got that uh, unbridled enthusiasm at the beginning of the race, and, and then it sets in that lactic acid buildup in those arms and legs. You know, the, the chest is pounding, that heart's pumping, and so, uh, you know, as we uh, finish up these last few lengths, you'll hopefully see those times start to, uh, to drop a little bit. You heard the horn there. That means our leader, Tatum Torgerson, has two lengths of the pool remaining. See at the bottom of your screen there, I believe that's the hand of Bill Werger encouraging some of his 500 girls there to, uh, to get going, uh, kind of 
get a second win there. Of course, they're not 500 girls. They're swimming 500. I believe there's only maybe a couple dozen on the team. But uh, as Tatum Torgerson finishes up there, her time, 5 minutes, 49.65 seconds. You can see a few other girls there making their turns to head back, probably with uh, about another length and a half to go. Finishing up in lane six, that is Ashlyn Brock with a time of 607.17. And making the turn in lane three, looks like she's got uh, one more time down and back. That is Claire Samer. At the top of your screen in lane seven, that's Lauren Lewicki. And she finishes in a time of 634.13. In lane five, that is Bronwyn Wonder, a time of 637.49. This JB Heat is uh, very much of a youth movement here. We've got two freshmen, two sophomores, and a junior competing. And wrapping up her 500-yard freestyle is Claire Samer. Her time, 7 minutes, 2.18 seconds. Incidentally, that is a 20-second PR from her seed time. All right, so as those girls hop out of the pool, and I use hop lightly because obviously they're very tired. Uh, I, I'm pretty impressed they jumped right out. I know I, I'd probably have to get pulled out, so. So we prepare for the varsity heat of the 500-yard freestyle. As I mentioned earlier, a total of five swimmers. You've got three there from Edgewood and two from Verona Malhora. And as in the previous heat, let's take a look at how fast they get out these first two lengths and uh, what kind of pace they're able to, uh, to hold up throughout this race, this 20 length race of the 500 yard freestyle. in these first couple lengths off to a pretty even start, but it looks like uh, taking a bit of a lead, that is Peyton Drexler in lane four, followed up in lane six by Bryn Stacy. Lane five, that is Maya Bloss. In lane two, Alex McClure. And in lane three, Emma Newman. And you can see this varsity heat, you're seeing some original or initial times, I should say, of uh, upper 20s, low 30s for those first two lengths. So we'll see uh, how these next two lengths fare. It's one thing that's common in any, any distance race, the watch never lies. So as they touch up here, still in that uh, low 30s range, and taking a, a bit of a commanding lead, that is Peyton Drexler in the middle of the pool from Edgewood. She is a sophomore. In lane six on the right-hand side there, that is Bryn Stacy. She is also a sophomore. In lane five, that is junior Maya Blas from Verona Malhora. In lane two, that is sophomore Alex McClure. And in lane three, that is senior Emma Newman. So as we continue on with the 500 yard freestyle, they're completing length seven at this point of the 20 lengths. Uh, just wanted to remind you, in case you uh, have been following along previously, the girls' season, of course, this is a fall sport traditionally, so their season actually officially started on February 8th. Um, girls at that time were, were holding 90-minute swim workouts, uh, and they were doing some strength training. We're talking about the Verona Mount Horeb girls here. Uh, we do have a brand new, beautiful strength and fitness center at the opposite end of the high school. That's next to 
the stadium uh, for those who will hopefully come visit our stadium uh, in future fall sports and even spring sports with track and field. And as we have reached the midway point of the 500 yard freestyle, that is Peyton Drexler in lane four with the lead. Up at the top of your screen in lane six, that is Bryn Stacy. Followed by in lane five, that is Maya Blas. At the bottom of your screen in lane two, that's Alex McClure. Followed by in lane three, Emma Newman. And as you note those split times, uh, pretty consistent there. Uh, very impressive by Peyton Drexler. Uh, you know, sticking in that 30 second range. Uh, these are those tough laps that we discussed earlier. You know, you can see at the uh, at the far end there, uh, you know, length 13. She's completing length 14 at this point. So uh, probably, you know, two more lengths that are pretty grueling. And then you try to, you know, uh, kind of marshal up whatever last strength you have and, uh, and you go for it, those last four lengths. So uh, once again, 3101, very strong split for our leader, Peyton Drexler in lane four. And you can see her sign there, 15 lengths complete. Five lengths to go, getting a little encouragement from her teammate down there, kind of bobbing that sign up and down. You can see there in lane six, that is Bryn Stacy in second place. At the right side of your screen, heading away from you, that is Maya Bloss in lane five. Lane two, Alex McClure, and in lane three, Emma Newman. So kind of start keeping an eye out there. You can see at the upper left of your screen the pool record for the 500 yard freestyle. And you can see Peyton Drexler, uh, I believe, coming up, yes indeed, on the last two lengths. And so if you look at her time, if she can complete that in say a minute, you know, a little bit of kick there, uh, the last two lengths, uh, looks to uh, pretty put a pretty good dent into that record uh, and set one of her own. And you could definitely see that uh, turnover picking up in those strokes. You can see we're just coming up on five minutes, so she is really going to shatter that pool record. Uh, looks to come in. Uh, what do we got here? About 505, 504.47. Coming in second at the top of your screen in lane six, that is Bryn Stacy. And she will touch up in a time of 519.35. In third place on the right of your screen, that is Maya Blas in lane five. In lane two, that is Alex McClure from Edgewood. And in lane three, that is Emma Newman. Maya Blas's time in lane five, 539.65. In lane two, 541.68 for Alex McClure, and Emma Newman touches up in 544.42. There's a quick break in the action at this time, so we'll be right back. large group of girls gathering there uh, for the JV 200 yard freestyle relay. As you can see, this heat features three teams from Verona Mount Horeb and one team from Edgewood. So lane six is left empty. And as they head into the water, it is in lane four that is the Edgewood team. Leading off is Alex McClure in lane four. Lane five, that is Kate Lewicki. 
Down there in lane three at the bottom of your screen, that is Mandy Beggs. And at the top of your screen in lane seven, that is Megan Diaz Caballero. And off to a, about a half length lead after the first leg. That is the Verona Mount Horup team. Into the water is Kalina Ackerman. In lane four, that is Sarah Johnstone for Edgewood. Lane three at the bottom of your screen is Bella Boyle for Verona Mount Horeb. And at the top of your screen, lane seven, that is Jordan Summers. And as we complete the second leg of this 200 yard freestyle relay, into the pool, that is Izzy Moore for Verona Mount Horeb, followed up by Tatum Torgerson for Edgewood and Lauren Lewicki for Verona Mount Hora. And building upon that lead in lane five, that is Izzy Moore. She will hand things over to Zinnia Wettage as she jumps in the pool. Lane four in second place is Edgewood as Sophia Cabada jumps into the water. And in lane three, that is Abby Samer for Verona Monhoro. As they turn for home, in lane five, Zinnia Wedding holds the lead. Followed up in second is Edgewood, Sophia Cabada. In lane three, that's Abby Samer for Verona Monhoro. And the time in lane five is 153.72. Second place goes to Edgewood, 156.33. In third, Verona Mount Horeb, 158.32. And in lane seven, that is Claire Samer swimming the anchor leg for Verona Mount Horeb. And their team touches up with a time of 220.19. Next up is, in fact, the varsity 200 yard freestyle. have a total of four relay teams in this heat. Lanes three through six. And it's pretty even at this point, so we'll see how they come out of the turn. And off to a slight advantage in lane five, that's Kenzie Zeal for Verona Mount Horeb. Followed up, coming on strong in lane four, Izzy ends. In lane six, that's Sam Vega. And into the water, it's very tight between Verona Mount Horeb in five and Edgewood in four. Edgewood might be taking a slight advantage there. That is Sophie Reed on the left side of your screen as you see it. Uh, Verona Mount Horeb there in lane five in a slight second place. That is Tola Claybaugh. And a touch up for the third leg. Edgewood holding a slight advantage. And their third swimmer is Bryn Stacy. She is matched up with Emmy Benin for Verona Mount Horeb. On the bottom of your screen, that is Lucia Hafner for Verona Mount Horeb. And at the top, that is Bella Urzagaste for Edgewood. As they touch up for the anchor leg, that is Edgewood with a slight advantage. Their anchor is Abby Reed. The anchor for Verona Mount Horeb is Maya Blas. And as they turn for home, Abby Reed opens up about a one length advantage on Maya Blas. And take a look at the record board up there. We look to have a new pool record for this 200 yard freestyle relay. And that belongs to Edgewood in one minute, 39.72 seconds. In second, that is the team from Verona Mount Horeb in 141.86. In third, the team from Edgewood, 147.03. And in fourth, the Verona Mount Horeb team in 149.77. So yet another pool record going down.
Obviously, this is our first competitive swim. We've had some virtual meets, and so I think the uh, the juices really get flowing uh, once you get some folks from another school in person. Uh, makes a huge difference. This is the JV 100-yard backstroke. You can see there are three athletes from Verona Malhora. This is sophomore Amber Burdett in lane three, freshman Perry McMahon in lane five, and freshman Britta Lake in lane seven for the 100-yard backstroke. And as they make that first turn, it is at the top of your screen in lane seven, Britta Lake off to an early lead, followed up by Perry McMahon in lane five and Amber Burdett at the bottom of your screen. At the halfway point of this 100 yard backstroke, sorry, the breaststroke's coming next. That is in the lead, Britta Lake, followed up by Perry McMahon and Amber Burdett. And as they make the turn for home, in lane seven, Britta Lake holds about a two length advantage. Next is Perry McMahon in lane five, and in lane three, that is Amber Burdett. And as they touch up at the wall, Britta Lake's time, 109.50. Perry McMahon, a time of 113.18 and Amber Burdett, a time of 114.26. Next event, 18 girls varsity 100 yard backstroke. Swimming from Verona area, Mount Moore, lane three, Claire, Lane five, Bailey Belshaw, lane seven, Reagan Razor. Swimming for Edgewood, lane two, Claire Swinney, lane four, Tiana Tiedites, and the lane six, Sam Vega. as they jump into the water, literally, to start the backstroke. And off to that initial lead is in lane four, Anna Tidites from Edgewood. Lane two, that is Claire Sweeney. In lane five, that is Bailey Felshine for Verona Mount Horo. Lane six, Sam Vega from Edgewood. And lane seven at the very top of your screen, that is Reagan Brazo. And leading the pack, that is in lane four, Anna Tidites with a sizable lead as she heads for the wall to make that final turn. Take a look at that record board up at the very top there. It looks to be like she's going to be uh, shaving some significant time off that 103 record. And finishing with a pool record of 57.13, that is Anna T. Dykes in lane four from Edgewood. Finishing up second, that is in lane six, Sam Vega. Bailey Felshine takes third. Oh, sorry about that. In lane two, Claire Sweeney taking third. Bailey Felsheim in lane five, taking fourth. Fifth place goes to Claire Ledico, and sixth place goes to Reagan Brazo. Next event, number 19, Rose Jamie, 100 yard breaststroke. Our next race is the Junior Varsity 100 yard breaststroke. A total of four competitors in this race, all Verona Mount Hora. There we go. At the very bottom of your screen, you can see our fourth competitor in lane one. So that is in lane one, Megan Diaz Caballero. Lane three, Piper McMahon. Lane five, Emmy Bennon. And in lane seven, Jordan Summers. And off to an early lead, it appears in lane three, Piper McMahon, a freshman at Verona Mount World. Swimming kind of neck and neck with her is in lane five. That's freshman Emmy Bennon. At the top of your screen in lane seven, that's sophomore Jordan Summers. And 
And at the halfway point, that is Piper McMahon in lane three with a slight advantage. Emmy Bennon in second. You can see at the bottom of your screen, that is senior Megan Diaz Caballero. as they make the turn for home. Still with the lead, that is Piper McMahon, followed up by Emmy Bennon, making a strong push for the lead there in this last 25 yards. And at the wall it is Piper McMahon in lane three, a time of 123.11. Second place goes to Emmy Bennon, a time of 124.48. In third in lane seven, that is Jordan Summers, a time of 132.29. And in lane one, that is senior Megan Diaz Caballero. And she touches up with a time of 150.99. The varsity heat of the 100 yard breaststroke. 20 girls in varsity 100 yard breaststroke. Swimming for Verona Area Mountain World. In lane 3, Selena Ackerman. In lane 5, Gianna Ganewitz. And in lane 7, Mandy Bettis. Swimming for Edgewood. In lane 2, Sophia Cabana. Lane 4, Maggie Reed. In lane 6, Olivia Bozinska. Off to a slight early lead. That is in the middle of the pool. Abby Reed in lane four for Edgewood. She is flanked by in lane five, Gianna Ganewick. And in lane three, Kalina Ackerman from Verona Mount Oro. As we go to complete the second length of the four length race, 100 yard breaststroke, it is Gianna Ganewick with a slight advantage in lane five. Followed up by Abby Reed in lane four as they go back and forth. At the bottom of your screen, that is Kalina Ackerman in lane three. And at the top of your screen in lane six, that is Olivia Budzinski. As they head for home, it's a tight race between Gianna Ganewick in lane five and Abby Reed in lane four. We'll see who touches up first here as they go the last couple yards. And it is Gianna Ganewick in lane five, a time of 112.54. Abby Reed in second, a time of 112.91. In third place, that is Olivia Budzinski from Edgewood, 117.09. Fourth place goes to Kalina Ackerman, 118.07. In fifth place, that's Mandy Beggs from Verona Mount Horeb, time of 120.31. And in sixth from Edgewood, that is Sophia Cabada, a time of 136.39. And we have reached the final two heats of this evening's competition, and that is the 400 freestyle relay. You have teams from Verona Mount Horeb in lane three, five, and seven, and the team from Edgewood in lane four. And as we begin this relay, each swimmer obviously swimming 100 yards, that is four lengths of the pool. Leading off in lane three, that is Amelia Heil for Verona Mount Horeb. Tatum Torgerson in lane four for Edgewood. Lauren Lewicki in lane five for Verona Mount Horeb. And in lane seven, that is Claire Samer. As they make the turn to head out for the last time, before they come back to complete their 100 yards of this relay, 
with a slight advantage. That is Tatum Targerson from Edgewood over Lauren Lewicki from Verona Mount Horeb in lane five. At the bottom of your screen, that is Amelia Heil. And at the top of your screen in lane seven, that's Claire Samer. As we finish up this first leg of our relay, looks like Edgewood's gonna finish this leg in, in the lead. Alex McClure takes over for Edgewood and is building about a one and a half length lead there over Britta Lake for Verona Montmore. At the bottom of your screen, that is Amber Burdett. And in lane seven at the top of your screen, that is Bronwyn Wonder. And in the second leg of the relay as they make the turn, Opening up about a two length lead now. That is Alex McClure for Edgewood. Britta Lake is in lane five for Verona Mount Horeb. And as they make the turn for home, the team from Edgewood in lane four continues to hold the lead. Lane five is Verona Mount Horeb in second. And as we complete the second leg, Jumping in third for Edgewood is Bella Verzagaste. And for Verona Mount Horeb in lane five, that's Izzy Moore. In lane three, jumping into the pool here in just a second is Bella Boyle. And the Edgewood relay team opening up a sizable lead here in this third leg. Uh, that is Bella Verzagaste. In lane five there, that is Izzy Moore. Coming across your screen from left to right in lane three, that is Bella Boyle. And at the top of your screen, that is Perry McMahon. And that is once again, Bella Urzagaste from Edgewood, finishing up her last 25 yards of her 100 yard relay portion of her leg. And she will hand things over to Audrey Macio Pinto. The Verona team in lane five, uh, Zinnia Wedditch will take over. In lane three at the bottom of your screen, Abby Samer will take over things for the Verona Marlboro team. And at the top of your screen in lane seven, uh, that is will be senior Olivia Swain. See Olivia just jumping in the water there. The Edgewood team just about ready to turn and head for home. That is our leader, Audrey Macho Pinto. In lane five, just about ready to head for home. That is Zinnia Wedding. And touching up the wall with a time of 4.07.46, the team from Edgewood. Lane five, the Verona Mount Horeb team finishing up with a time of 4.19.67. In lane three with just about half the uh, pool to go here, that is Abby Samer. The team time for lane three, 434.50. And Olivia Swain finishing her last length of the pool in lane seven. And their team time of five minutes, point three one seconds. And so now you're about to hear the traditional slow clap, which is gonna be much more enjoyable with a crowd here. For those of you who tuned into any of the boys' virtual meets, you know uh, we tried a slow clap, but we had obviously a very few participants here uh, with the restrictions.
Assuming for Edgewood, in lane four, the team of Tito's, Stacy, Drexler, and Benz. And in lane six, the team of Vega, Bandinsky, Sweeney, and Ludwig. And as was just announced, there are two teams from each, or two relay teams from each school. And off to an early lead, it is lane four, Anna Tedites. She is a junior at Edgewood, making the turn ahead of the field. In lane five, that is junior Tola Claybaugh. And in lane six, that is sophomore Sam Vega. At the bottom of your screen in lane three, there's junior Allison Beggs. And as each swimmer goes to complete their last two lengths of their 100-yard freestyle leg, that is in the lead, Anna Tedites, followed up in lane five, Tola Claybaugh. Lane six features Sam Vega. And in lane three, Allison Beggs. So Anna will hand off to Bryn Stacy, a sophomore, swimming in lane four. In lane five, that is junior Maya Blas. In lane six, that is freshman Olivia Budzinski. And in lane three, that is junior Claire Ledico. as they make the turn that is in lane four, the team from Edgewood. Currently swimming is sophomore Bryn Stacy, Junior Maya Bloss in hot pursuit in lane five, followed up in lane six by Olivia Budzinski, and in lane three, Claire Ledico. And as they head for home, Bryn Stacy will hand things off to sophomore Peyton Drexler as she jumps in the pool. Maya Bloss gives way to senior Bailey Felshai. In lane six, Olivia Budzinski gives way to junior Claire Sweeney. And in lane three, senior Reagan Brazo takes over. Continuing to hold the lead, that is the Edgewood team in lane four. Currently swimming is Peyton Drexler. Maya Bloss making, or I check that, uh, Bailey Felsheim making the turn for Verona Mount Horeb, as this is the third leg. At the top of your screen, that is Claire Sweeney from Edgewood in lane six. And at the bottom of your screen, Reagan Brazo in lane three. Handing things off for the anchor leg, that is sophomore Izzy Ends. In lane five, Bailey Felsheim gives way to senior Emma Newman. In lane six, junior Claire Sweeney gives way to freshman Sadie Ludgate. And in lane three, Reagan Brazo will give way to junior Ingrid Malin. Keep an eye on the record up there. I'm sure that's going to probably take a, a pretty good beating here uh, as our Edgewood team in lane four has but one length of the pool as she makes the turn. That is sophomore Izzy Ends on the anchor. A little battle going on in lanes five and six. For second place, that's Emma Newman in five and Sadie Ludgate in six. And finishing up for Edgewood, a record time of 3 minutes, 38.97 seconds. And in second, that will be Edgewood touching up in lane six. Their time, 3 minutes, 51.92 seconds. The Verona team in lane five, a time of 353.26. And finishing up in lane three, the Verona Mount Horeb team, their time touching the wall at four minutes, 9.84 seconds. We thank you for joining us this evening for the first competition with fans, and we will see you tomorrow.